there have been over 1,060 scoregami in the history of the NFL. Scoregami is a name that comes from football and origami. Two mediums defined by their rules or constraints that achieve unique results from an identical starting format, like a game in four quarters or a square sheet of paper. Each type of football score is like a different kind of fold in the paper. Touchdown! And over the course of the game, these folds combine in unique ways to form one of many final scores. Final score, Jets 19. 39, Broncos 20. 29. If that score is the first of its kind, that's scoregami. Might have some scoregami by the end of the day, who knows? Kansas City 51, Houston 31, final score. My name is John Boyce. I am a co-founder of Secret Base, which is a studio that specializes in telling weird sports stories we think are cool. And one of the projects we worked on first was what final scores have never existed? Scoregami. In the history of the National Football League, no game has ever wound up 43 to 40. You were watching this like century plus old sport and you're witnessing a final score for the first time ever. How about that? Wow. First 11-10 game in the history of the sport. That's really special because that's something that you can never hope to see in any other sport. Soccer, baseball, basketball, you can commonly score one point, one run at a time. Like baseball, yeah. Looking in some of these scores, I think. With football, almost all the scoring comes in chunks of either three or seven, sometimes six, sometimes eight, and very rarely two. If you just go off track a little bit, you end up mathematically with some possibilities that one in a million times becomes its whole new beautiful thing. Some unusual scores today. They kind of leave a signature that is really strange and often kind of disgusting. You got a broken play, then you run into the backside of your right guard. Two-point safeties, in short, ruin everything. They basically derail the train. Instead of being on the train to like 14 points, you're on the train to 16 points. Oh, it's a safety! I mean, you can just brute force a scoregami if you want to. 1966, the Giants and Washington combined to score 113 points in a single game. There's your score got me. How many points is this right now? 2018, Rams 54, Chiefs 51. First game where both teams have scored 50 points. You know, there can be just blowouts. The 1940 NFL championship that ended 73 to nothing. The cameras record a devastating Chicago offensive. On the other end, you have low scoregami, which can only be achieved if someone does something very strange. Like one 49ers game ended with an intentional safety. And he runs out of the back. With two seconds to go, he takes the safety. That makes it a 13 to eight score. You don't really choose scoregami. Scoregami chooses you. For nine years in a row, Pete Carroll marshaled his Seahawks to record a scoregami, and they won all nine of them. I don't know if you'd know, but that's uh, another unique score for you guys, that final score. Did we never get one? Happened. Awesome. Nine, nine years one of those, of course, was the What's Super Bowl 48 score, Gami. First play of the game, snapped over Peyton's head. It's going to cost the Broncos two points. Two to nothing is an extraordinary way to start a score, Gami. Just something we've been working on in the offseason. You know, keep it <laughs> Did you really think Seabass tried to kick the ball and make it with that last one? PAT from Sebastian Janikowski, and I think it's blocked. Is it all right if we score more points? It's useful to think of scoregami as kind of a bingo board. The winning team's score is this axis. The losing team's score is that axis. You get a space marked out if you achieve a particular score. This is the very beginning. 1920, the first year of NFL football. Red dots signify scoregami that just happened in this calendar year. Every score is a new one that has never happened in a brand new league. Here are the early years of the NFL. What you're seeing here is some really bad, sad football. 73-0-0 games, five two-nothing games. So in 1960, we see the advent of the AFL, which will eventually merge in 1970. They contributed a lot more of these high-scoring scoregami. That's because the AFL, they kind of didn't believe in defense. They were more of a uh, passing and high-scoring league, which added a little bit of uh, eccentricity to the scores they put up. 1992 was the saddest year yet. There was only one scoregami the entire season. It was a death store. And then, 1994 was the advent of the two-point conversion. Tuka puts his head down and runs it in for a two-point conversion. 
This allowed eight chunks, and that made Scorigami flourish all over again. So we saw this phenomenon happen again in 2015, when they moved point afters to the 15. That made them longer, harder to hit, and resulted in a new crop of Scorigami. There have been over 1,060 Scorigami in the century and change history of the NFL. That includes three Super Bowl Scorigami, 21 and then 24, and then we had to wait all the way till Super Bowl 48. That's never happened in football before? That's never happened. Wow. I think, honestly, people love a thing to root for that isn't a team. Everybody can root for the same thing for once. It was kind of a slow trickle at first. People were like, oh, that's pretty interesting. And then people took on Scorigami as their own. People have built a website. We've just hit one, according to NFLScorigami.com. There's an NFL Scorigami Twitter account. Everybody on social media knows it's stupid, but that kind of brings people together. Like, let's celebrate this, like, super stupid thing together. I'm, I'm thrilled that that happened again, <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> I got no reason. Shel Silverstein has a poem and it ends with uh, put something in the world that has not been there before. The NFL has never had a score 31 to five, never. I'm all about making history. And that's what you're doing with Scorigami. You're putting something completely original in the NFL. Nobody can take that away from you. Oh my goodness. I am speechless. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Nice. To any coach or team who has ever achieved any Scorigami and all of the Scorigami achievers in the future, this is for you.